Hey guys, today we are going to make the covers for the um, four pages that we've made previously. I'll link the playlist for the uh, everlasting printable templates in the description box below, as well as the actual printable templates themselves. So we're going to be making the covers today, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to do it. The, there's several ways you can make the covers, but I'm going to do it the easiest way for this one and then when we go to do the bundle together the everlasting and the mini everlasting together um, then i'll do a different um i'll do a different cover but um but anyway so there is going to be a secret cu coupon code in this video um, it will be somewhere in the video it will only be there for a couple minutes and it's very hard to find so uh somewhere in this video a coupon code will pop up and it is for 50% off everything in my shop from midnight the day this goes public to the following midnight. So it's a 24 hour time period. If you want to be notified when I upload a video and there might be a coupon code, a secret, a special secret coupon code, then um, go ahead after you subscribe to hit that bell button. That way it'll tell you every time I upload a video. So. The coupon code is for fun, you know, it's only good for that one day and it only shows for a couple minutes in the video, but it's hard to find. So if you find it, don't share it. Uh, don't put it in the comments, don't, you know, don't put it anywhere out there. Um, if you do, I'll just have to deactivate it. So um, it's just kind of fair warning, you know, but it's just meant to be fun. So if you find it, it's 50% off everything in my shop. So my shop will be listed below. You just hit that, put, you know, Put everything you want in your cart, go to check out, and it should give you a space for the coupon code. So enter it there and it'll take 50% off your entire purchase. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start. I'm gonna, my four pages here, I'm gonna move these to the side. Um, I will link any products that I use in the description box below as well, as best I can. Um, but anyway, let's get to making the covers. I'm so excited. So the covers, for this mini album is on page 22 um, and then I've got I've got page 22 printed out as well onto cardstock and then I've got the mat on top of it so I'm gonna go ahead and take both of those I'm gonna need both of those and then we made four pages so I need the spine that's in the middle so also again I've got the actual traceable template cut out and are um, printed onto white cardstock and I'm going to use that as my traceable template and then there's the mat for that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Let me set this aside. Okay, so then the next thing you're going to need besides the templates is some chipboard or some recycled material from maybe the back of paper pads or something like that. Use whatever you have. Uh, this measures approximately eight by eight. It's, it's not exact, but it's approximate eight by eight. So you need it to be at least big enough for that. So you're going to need two, sh um, two sheets to make the cover. So this is the one that I use. This is what I'm using right now. Anyway, this is paper accents, um, extra heavy chipboard and natural 100% recycle. So this is the chipboard that I'm currently using. So I will link this in the description box below as well. Okay, so I also have a score pal uh, cutting mat um, on my surface. So what I'm gonna do is I need to trace two of these, okay? But um, I'm just gonna do one on camera. So I'm gonna lay it on here in the corner there and I'm gonna trace it out like that. And then before I lift that up, I'm gonna go ahead and put the spine piece, butt it up right next to it, and then I'm going to trace it out. That way we can cut them out at the same time. And remember, like I said, you need two cover pieces, so I'm, I'm just not going to do both of them on camera. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. This is a Tim Holtz ruler, and then, oops, and this is a post note, uh, and this is a Stanley utility knife. Got it on the first try. I usually forget what these are called. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to, basically you need for a ruler is you need uh, something that has a metal edge so that you get a clean cut. So I'm just gonna go, um, 
I'm going to make a one long cut all the way down. It usually takes two or three. My blade's getting dull, so. But I'm going to keep these pieces because, again, I have to make all my own embellishments except for a few flowers that I have. So I'm going to keep these because I might be needing them. I would keep them anyway because I do make different size books and stuff. So, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this extra piece off the bottom, off, off this part right here. Don't need that. Okay. And then I'm gonna slice this spine off. All right. Okay. So we're gonna set the spine piece aside for the moment. And then how I'm gonna cover this chipboard is really simple. I'm just taking some white, the same white cardstock I've been using to build my pages with. And I am going to, first I'm gonna take some score tape. This is 3 eighths of an inch score tape. And I'm gonna go all around the edges and these are Tim Holtz tonic scissors. So I'm gonna go all around the edges on both sides. Okay, so I've got score tape on both sides. So now what I wanna do is I'm gonna take the backing off of one side. Of the cover here. And then I'm going to take some Fabri-Tac by Beacon and I'm going to go along the inside of that tape. And basically it's just to get it more, more adhesion. More adhesion? Is that a word? To have it really good and stuck down. That's basically what that's for. Okay, so then all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over and I'm gonna line up one edge. I'm not gonna line up two, because nine times out of 10, either my cut's not straight or the paper's not straight. Does that make sense? Okay, so then what you want to do is this is going to be the cut to the edge. Like it's gonna be flush with the edge method. Um, I usually like to do like the wrapped method, but this is, since it's eight by eight and I'm using eight and a half by 11 cardstock. It would have been really hard to um, wrap. I mean, I've done it. I actually did it with my mock-up. I did, you know, I, I wrapped the edges. It was just really difficult. So I thought I would do the easiest method first. All right, and then I've got me another sheet here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Take the backing off. Okay. <laughs> I'm just throwing stuff around these days. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, I'm gonna take my fabric tuck Again, go all the way around. Like this. And then I'm gonna flip it over, match it up to an edge. Well, I plopped it down. I have to make another cut. And then same thing, we're gonna trim this out. Okay, so what am I now going to do is I'm going to move my, oh, I still might need this. I better, I'm just going to move it up out of the way. I just don't want to get ink bits all over it. I try to keep that one clean. I have another one that's gross that I use when I'm not filming. <laughs> and this is the ink that I've been using throughout the whole book. It is Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. It's Ground Espresso. Oops. And I'm also using a blending tool by Tim Holtz. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way around the edges here, except for one edge. I'm gonna leave one edge um, uninked, because it's gonna get covered. I mean, you can ink it if you want to. At least I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, 
All right, so I'm going to make the other cover and then we'll come back and attach the spine. Okay, so I have both of my covers here and then I've got my spine. So I think I want to, I forgot to grab a sheet of white cardstock. I'll be right back. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to attach the spine to a sheet of white cardstock. Let me, let me get this back out. I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to go in the, I think I'm going to do it the easiest way possible is what I'm going to do. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put score tape on the back side. Or well, either side. Right now it's either side. I'm just going to put some score tape. You don't even have to cover the whole thing. Alright, I'm going to put a piece here. Like that. And then I'm going to remove the backing. This will make sense in a minute. I mean, I've done these covers before but you may not have seen those so all right i need to quit pulling it so close to me my camera seems like it's kind of far away anyway so i'm just going to lay it on here it doesn't even have to be straight at this point you know it could just just laying it on there okay so now what i want to do is i want to take my ruler and I think I'll just use the width of my ruler, which is an inch and a half, like that. Oh, easy. And then I'm just gonna slice it off, like that. So it'll be straight with this part, if that makes sense. <laughs> I keep, there we go. I don't know how my camera got pushed back so far. It's kind of bothering me. All right, because I'm like reaching out, you know. All right, same thing. I'm just going to butt my camera up. My camera. <laughs> going to butt my ruler up to that spine piece and slice that extra piece off there. Put those in my scrap pile just in case. And I'm going to go ahead and... Here, let me just turn the whole thing. I don't know what is going on with this mat, but it doesn't want to move. Same thing. So basically, it's just going to be approximately an inch and a half all the way around. Except this one looks like it might be short. Well, it is, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. So then, <laughs> I want this release. <laughs> All right, let's try it. I don't, why is it so stuck? <laughs> that would wear me out. All right. So that actually gives us approximately five and five eighths ish. I'm going to write that on here because what we need to do now ish I'm going to write ish <laughs> is I'm going to take another piece of card stock and I'm going to lay it this way and I'm going to go five and five eighths right here can y'all see? you can and I'm going to slice this like that. Okay, again I'm gonna put this in my scraps. All right, so then I'm gonna cut this at, um, where's my spine piece thingy? I'm gonna cut this the same height as my spine piece. So I'm just gonna lay it on here. That'd be the easiest thing to do. As my mat for my spine piece. I'm sorry, not my actual spine piece. So I'm just going to cut it to that height, just like that. <laughs> I swear, I don't know what's come over this mat. Alright, I'm going to put this back, I'm going to put this back aside and put it back on its uh, template first. You'll notice that this mat is almost the exact same. I mean, there's barely any thing around it, but since you have to wrap and leave a gap and everything, it just looks nicer 
this way. Okay, so what this is gonna be, is this is gonna be the inside of the, it's gonna be on the inside of the covers. Does that make sense? I think it does. All right, so now what I wanna do is since I didn't ink, you know, two sides, I know those are the sides that are gonna be on the cover, so I'm gonna take my score tape and I'm gonna run a piece along that edge. I'm gonna do that to both. Like this, run it along that edge. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm gonna run score tape along each side here. Although I might just do it, I'm gonna just do it the spines, the, the height of the spine first. Do it there. And then I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna burnish those real quick. Like that. All right, so then what I wanna do, burnish this down. I'm going to attach one of the covers to this piece here. Okay, so basically what you wanna do is you wanna give yourself an eighth of an inch or more from that spine piece and you really kind of want it to be even top and bottom so just take your time you could use a glue stick if you wanted to but I'm not going to today right so then let me flip it over and give it a good burnish all right so then we're going to do the same thing to this side we're going to take the tape off of this part like that I, don't, I keep scooting down. I'm, ready. I'm gonna have to move the camera a little bit. I can't take it. Hold on, everybody. I'm gonna scoot you a little closer. How's that? Maybe just a little bit more. How's that? That's better. Now I need to remember not to push so forward. Okay, so same thing. Um, look how dirty, see that's how it gets when you get, well you probably can't see it. There's like little speckles from the um, blending tool where it comes off. So I try not to spread that out anywhere. Same thing. We need an eighth of an inch or more. A generous eighth of an inch would be a good way to say it. And we're gonna put that down. Okay. So this is what we got. So then the next thing I wanna do is take score tape. Uh-huh. And I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try to avoid that gap. So I'm gonna be careful. And, and skip it, because I don't, you, getting score tape down in, in those gaps um, sometimes really makes your, it difficult for your book to move, you know? So, see I should have went ahead and, dang it. I'm gonna go ahead and stick a piece here. I should have went ahead and went all the way down. So, just remember that. That, and then I'm gonna go on here onto the actual cover. We are gonna make sure this sucker is good and together. A lot of people um, use Tyvek for their covers, for their spines, and that's fine. I just I just don't feel like it's necessary for me um, to do that. I mean, most people, when, they, when they're handling a handmade item, they're not usually crazy with it, you know what I'm saying? So, but I, knock on wood, I'm knocking on my head right now, I have never um, had one fall apart. So, again, knock on wood, knock on wood. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing to this side and then I'll be back. All right, so I've got all the tape on. Now what I want to do is I want to, I'm going to try to score it real quick, just gently. Without tearing my tape up here. <laughs> and then I'm going to tip it on its side and try to score it again, just to give it a little help. 
and then I'm going to flip it down. And I'm doing this before I take the backing off because I, I want it to be, I want it to go on real nice and smooth. Okay. All right. So now we can take the backing off of here. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it all off. This is a Teflon bone folder. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing on this side and then I'll be back. All right, so I've got both top and bottom wrapped. Looks pretty good. Before I do any more inking though, I'm going to add that piece that we made earlier. I'm going to go ahead and looks like it's a little wider. Let me cut, I'm going to cut a sliver off because I want it to be even. It doesn't have to be. See, that was that where, that is where that ish came into play. <laughs> Wasn't quite that big. So, I'm going to just take a sliver. No big deal. Let's see if that worked. Yep, pretty good. So it wasn't, it wasn't five-eighths. All right, so now I am going to, I'm gonna add score tape all the way around the edge of this. All four sides like that and then I'm going to bring this over and I'm going to add score tape to this side right next to the gap. On either side of that gap I'm going to add score tape to the spine part. And since the binding pieces are going to be attached to this piece, I'm going to go ahead and run a few more strips down here. Maybe two more. We definitely don't want the binding coming out of the book, do we? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and burnish that down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off of all of this, and we're going to attach it down. All right, so I've removed the tape backing off of everything, even this one. So now I'm just going to be very careful, and I'm going to line it up. Do the best I can there. It's not really going to be that noticeable because these are going to be matted anyway. So, um these pieces are anyway. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give this a good burnish. Make sure there's good contact there. And then before I start bending things, I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to take my Distress ink and I'm just going to ink the bottom, I think. I don't know. It's really hard to get in that little crevice there. Um, I might try once I get it folded, but we'll see. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. I guess at this point you could really try to bend it both ways. I don't know, should we try that? Oh, do we dare? That might not be a good idea. Okay. So I am going to take my Teflon bone folder here and I'm just going to keep going back and forth gently and lifting up the cover page 
Let's see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just see. Let's just see. Because that would allow me to ink the inside as well. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I was doing it backwards anyway. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do both sides like this. Let's go ahead and flip it over and do this one. Okay, since I did do that, I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity here to ink this part and I'm basically just gonna run this back and forth like this and it should it's a little sloppy but that's okay same thing over here as long as you're gentle and take your time you will have no issues all right so now Let's go ahead and get this going the right direction. Okay. So there we have that. That looks good, nice and clean. So I haven't inked this edge yet because I've got an idea that I'm gonna do, um, but I, first I need to get the mats ready before I can do that idea. So I will be right back. Okay, so this is the paper line that I'm using. Once again, Sand and Sea, 49 and Market. It's really pretty, um, but I am downplaying, of course, the ocean beachy theme, um, like I've said probably 10 times now. <laughs> but anyway, I'm doing a daggone good job of it. So I've already picked out my um, cover. So I'm gonna have this on my cover, right? And then this is a printed off mat for the covers, it's on page 43. I put the script on it, and then I'm gonna have this on the inside of the covers. Um, Cause I'm thinking I might put pockets on the inside, so I haven't quite decided yet. So I'm just gonna put these mats on there. So you need two of these. Um, so I'm gonna cut them out, ink them up. And then you're gonna need two of these for your cover, if you want your covers to be the same. And then I have a few more ideas. So first I'm gonna take the mat for my cover here and Again, like I said, this is on page 43. And I'm gonna trace around this. I'm gonna do it twice, because I need two. Oh. So I'm gonna cut these out, ink them up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all four of my mats cut out, inked up, all of that, but I had another idea. This is on page nine, this is the two-piece belly band, and I think I'm gonna use this piece right here as the closure. So I am going to go ahead and split these apart here. And I think this will be a really cute closure. I'm just trying to work out exactly how I wanna do it, because my pages aren't in there yet, so I'm not 100% sure how thick it's gonna be. But let me score this piece real quick. This is a We Are Memory Keepers scoreboard. It's a trim and score. I'm just going to score that real quick. And I'm not even going to I'm not even going to notch the corners because I don't think you're going to see it anyway. So then I'm going to go ahead and trim this out, and I am going to ink it up on both sides, and I think I will mat this on both sides as well, but not yet. So, so I'm going to ink it up, and then I'll be back. Got it inked on both sides. I'm gonna add some score tape. It doesn't really matter which side. There's not a pattern on there. So I'm just gonna add some score tape here to the little tab. I hope this works. I think this would be so cute. I hope it works. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and burnish that down if I can find my, my bone folder. Where did it? Here it is, my bone folder. All right, so I'm thinking that I just want to like 
attach it to the inside here like this before I mat it. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to measure. I'm just going to attach it down. And since I don't, this isn't directional yet because I still don't have any pattern paper on here, it doesn't matter which one is the back side. So I'm just going to guess and I'm going to try to get it even here. Y'all know how good my guessing, my center guessing is. Ooh, that might not be too bad. I might not have been done. Might not have been done. <laughs> I might not have done a bad idea. A bad idea. <sighs> I don't I don't even know. I have no words <laughs> today. Okay. I probably should have put the tape on the side where you can see the two little tab marks, but that's okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, I think. I think I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to attach these down. Mm -hmm. See? You won't even, like, you won't even know that it was uh, attached down later. All right, so I'm just going to take my Fabri-Tac with these two pieces, the inside mats. Go around the edges. Make sure, since there's script on here, make sure I've got it the right way. And get that on there. Smooth it out. I'm so excited. All right, let's do this one. Same thing. Make sure I got this the right side up. And touch it down. Okay. So, and then my pages will go in there, right? And then this, I can't decide if I need to curve it or, you know, just let it, like, look like that. Do you see what I'm saying? I wonder. I should prop this up, probably. There we go. Maybe I will go ahead and add the magnet, because that looks like, that looks like that would work. All right, I'm going to grab a post-it note first. Maybe I'll get a bigger post-it note. Is that even? That's not a post you know. So I am going to use a magnet, and I'm going to use a strong magnet. Um, these are the magnets I've been using. They're super magnets. I got them at Home Depot. Um, remember, we're just trying them out. We're just seeing if they'd be good in a pinch. If I can get it open. Um, I have one left from the first package that I bought. So let me grab that one. And see, I've got the washers too, but I'm not going to use the washers right now. I need it to be strong. Come on, magnet. No. All right. Oh, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I'm going to attach one to here. Yep, yep. I'm going to use some score tape. a little bit because remember this will be covered up with a mat that's why I'm what I think I'm gonna mat both sides of the closure flap there so I'm going to I think I'm gonna go right around here and then I'm gonna stick my post-it note or am I going to stick it the other way? Let's stick it the other way. And then I'm going to grab another magnet. I'm going to slide it. I'm going to try to slide it off of here. These suckers are not... They don't like go of each other very well. Alright, I'm going to let that attach to there. And I'm going to get another piece of score tape. And I'm going to put that down on there. Alrighty, now I just need to make that decision of how far, I'm going to have to look up in my viewfinder, how far I want to go in, you know what I mean? I'm still thinking 
thinking maybe I need a little more so when it gets full let's just do it oh <sighs> all right let me use my pushy note <laughs> that's how strong these suckers are wow okay now I'm not even gonna risk it I'm gonna go ahead and put this on here just like that I'm gonna go ahead and attach that sucker down so that that magnet will stay oh I hope I put it on there right <laughs> of course you did don't try it again <laughs> that would be something I'll do oh did I do it right All right, I'm gonna get a good amount of glue on this too. I don't think this has it up and it down. So I'm just going to put this on here. Fold this out because I need to, I really want to burnish this edge. I really want to make sure it's stuck down. Okay, there. There we go. And look, it even holds it up. <laughs> that is cool. All right. Let's go ahead and put the mat on the back side here, and then we'll get to my, ooh, I still need my post-it note. What do I do with it? And then we'll get to my idea, my other idea. Wow. Come on, stay put, magnet. You know, wow. There we go. All right. Let me go ahead and glue this down. And I'll be back. All right. I've got that down. So now what I think I'm going to do is I want to incorporate some of this paper that I was using on the pages. So what I did was, let me find one here. This one's, this one's not a good example because it's not even. But I just took a hole, I opened it up, and I glued it together. So I put glue on it and folded it over, smooshed it out, and glued it together. Then I inked each long edge because what I want to do, I think, is I want to wrap this around the spine, right? So I'm going to have to open this up. Yeah, that post-it note does help quite a bit. Oh no, don't you go nowhere, post-it note. Okay. So what I, yeah, what I want to do is I want to wrap it around the spine. So... I think what I'll do is I'll put glue in the spine here. Maybe just for extra strength, I'll put I'll put some score tape along each side. I think this is going to be cool. Of course, it, and then it'll tie in the pages as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Then, I, then I'm going to put glue in the middle. So I'm going to be trimming off the extra on the ends once I get this down. So I'm not real worried about that. Let me just put a little bit of tape, a little bit of tape, a little bit of glue. All right. So I'm just going to guess. I'm going to try to guess anyway. I've already inked the edges. I'm going to try to guess the middle here. And hope for the best. Okay, how'd I do? Not too bad. It's 
not 100% the middle, but it will work. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put this magnet back on there. I'm going to run a piece of score tape here. Or let me test it out. Maybe even before I do that, maybe I'm going to trim it off. See, this is just an idea I just had. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off of here. Like literally when I was making the cover, I was like, ooh, that's how I can incorporate this paper that I used on the pages into the cover. Got to be careful. Don't cut your covers. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> so sorry. Are you okay? That's funny. <laughs> I'm just beating you up. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and ink these edges real quick. This is going to look so cool. Well, I think. The idea that I have, anyway. I'm hoping. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do, too, is I think I'm going to add... A strip of this paper because I really want to add some of this maroony burgundy pinky red color I'm not even sure what it is so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my ruler and how am I gonna do it I think I'm gonna do it like this I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna tear a strip like that so then it'll be jagged right and then I can play with where I want it to be on the cover I think that'll look cool let me go ahead and do another one the back side and I'm going to ink these up but I then want to go one step further with this and add some of that seam binding that I used on one of the pages and some of the baker's twine. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put a piece of score tape um, right try to in the middle here. I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, this may be what the you know worst idea ever. So I'm just going to attach the end. I don't have very much of this left. I'm going to have to crinkle some more. But until I can do that, I'm just going to try to save it here. And just go one strip around here. So that I can do the back side as well. All right. So then I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. And then I'm going to come back and attach it down to that same piece of score tape. Right. So then, where's a the piece at? So now we've got something that looks like this. I think that's so cute. Okay, so then I think I'm going to do the same thing with the baker's twine. Um, let's see. Except I may end up tying a bow or a knot or something. I don't know how many times I want to go around. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let me drive this way. Or this way. <laughs> ah! And then 
I can spread them out. Do you know what I mean? Probably don't. That's what I'm going to do, except I'm going to use a piece of tape to hold these ends down like that, trim it off, maybe that's a little too far, right, where's my piece, I like it, I think it's cute, it's just really to tie all the pieces in, so I think what I'll do is I'll put some, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll put some glue on this piece first. And then I'll attach it to this little flap we made. I can get it to hang hold tight. Right like that. Wonder why. Oh. Hang on. Let me get a little more glue in there. And then I can tuck stuff. All right, I like it. I'm gonna go ahead and glue the whole thing down. Maybe not the whole thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and put glue on the back here. And then while it's up, I'm gonna support it and bring it down and over smoosh. Oh, it's so cute. And I don't know what I'm going to do over here yet, but I'm going to do this to the back side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it on the back side and the front side. Oops. I didn't pay very much attention to what I was doing back there. It looks like that's okay. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with this side. I did go ahead and mat my closure, and I did have to work with the paper a little bit to get it to bend. Do you see how it's bent like that? Um, so that it would hold it closed without shoving stuff around. Um, I do want to go ahead and ink this edge, I think. So I think that's all we're going to do in this video. And then the next video, we'll do the binding. Got a little sloppy again with that. Oh well, I like it. The next video will do the binding, and I'm actually probably going to show you two ways to use the binding um, strip page that I provided for you, and then we'll add our pages in, um, and we'll go from there. So cute. Okay, so did you find the secret code? This video has a secret code in it, so if you didn't find it, it is somewhere in this video only up for a couple minutes and it's only good for the day that this video goes public so it's good for over a 24 hour time period and that time period is my time Eastern Standard Time so um, just be aware of that and if you want to be notified when I upload a video go ahead and hit that bell next to the subscribe button um, after you subscribe if you're not subscribed already and it will notify you every time I upload a video so you won't miss any of the secret codes so um, again, it's good for 50% off everything in my shop for that one day only. So anyway, good luck with that. And uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And we'll do the binding strips and the um, putting the pages in in the next video. And leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit this button right there. And check out these other videos on the screen that you might be interested in. And I will see you next time. Bye.